Welcome back, my name is Teresa, and I'm very much Ooh, spooky with no makeup on. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. It's adorable. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Blah, 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 blah. X out the video here, whatever, 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 but I'll remember our time fondly. I just wanted to speed through that, y'all, okay? I am so excited. First of all, I have a lot of energy. That's one. Two, happy halfway to Halloween. This is my halfway to Halloween special. <laughs> I figured it's May 31st. Is it halfway to Halloween? Oh wait, no. No, it actually should have been April. Well, that didn't pan out well, did it? I need to learn math. Can I tell you, I was really proud of myself. <laughs> Because I was like, oh my god, this is going to be really cute because it's May 31st, halfway to Halloween. Forgot, probably should have been April 30th or May 1st. But you know what? We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Listen, I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. I really thought I was doing something. <laughs> oh. You know when you just have secondhand embarrassment? I'm just going through it right now. Give me a couple of minutes. Mm. No, I'm not drinking. <laughs> but I wish I was. <laughs> the whole point of today's video, <laughs> the whole point of today's video was to talk about my haunted apartment because I used to live in a haunted house and now I live in a haunted apartment. And I talked a little bit about this, I don't know, sometime, was it last year? Time is but a social construct. Anyway, I know I talked about leaving my old home, moving into this new apartment, and then all the weird shit that kind of happened along the way until we moved here. I honestly don't remember what I talked about in that video. In any case, I'll link it in the corner, start there. My makeup skills have gotten a little bit better since then. <laughs> Just a thumbs up. Uh, but in any case, start there, work your way back here. But this is a good old fashioned get ready with me. I have a lot of e.l.f. products because, can I tell you, I have been craving e.l.f. Like, I've just been craving it in the atmosphere. I know, I am bougie, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes I just want something that's literally $4 but mirrors the quality of something that's 60. You know what I'm saying? And I think I found it today. I actually picked up quite a few different little items that I've been hearing nothing but good things about. I have no expectations because I do not want to be let down, but I have been swatching and fingering things and the fingering has been good. I started with my eyebrows because I, listen, I want to be that person. And I think I was for like maybe one or two videos. Like I think I did my eyebrows last. I don't feel right. I don't feel right. I need to do them. I need to like see where my face is. Then I could work outwards. Does that make sense? I'm that kind of bitch. I will say while I didn't use an e.l.f. product for my eyebrows, which by the way, most of these products are going to be e.l.f. I do have a couple of things that are not e.l.f. But for the most part, majority of the stuff is e.l.f. But for my eyebrows, it's Fenty. But I picked up the Jen Atkin collection. I don't know anything about Jen Atkin. So so I'm hoping that she's a good person. Fingers crossed. But in any case, I wound up picking a good variety of it. But one of them was eyebrow gel, this fun little spoolie pencil, and then a black eyeliner. Can I tell you, this gel is fucking awesome. This is awesome. I don't know if this is um, the normal eyebrow gel that e.l.f. has. The wand is so small and so thin, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I'm not just saying that to say that. Like, I was actually blown away. I wish I recorded that because I was like, holy shit, I lost my mind. I have been slowly getting into brow gel and the one that I have been liking is the one actually that Mel Thompson sent me. Mama Mel, we love her. She sent me the benefit one and it's been great, but this one, I actually think I like it better. Okay, anyway, so I put that in my eyebrows, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just gonna do my eye look and tell you about this weird ghost that I have in my apartment. Cause my apartment is haunted. Why did I sound like a vampire? So I used to live in a haunted house and you know, you think it's going to be fun. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. It's actually quite terrifying. So I'm kind of glad that I was out of that situation because when we decided that we were going to move, I feel like energy just picked up and it just got all kinds of crazy. Again, I'll link that video up in the corner if you want to start there and then work your way back here. So with that said, when we moved into this apartment, it's actually kind of funny because the super told us, Oh yeah, a gentleman used to live here for 30 years and then he died. But he didn't die in the apartment. He died in the hospice, but nobody lived here after him. So y'all are actually the first tenant. So I was like, oh, 
Okay, interesting, interesting. But apparently he was a very lovely man and everybody loved him, so that's great. All right, I'm actually gonna go in with this face palette. This is also the thing from Jen Atkin. Like, this is pretty cute. The highlighter, unfortunately, is a little bit too dark for me. We will use a different highlighter, but uh, we're just gonna be utilizing the rest of this uh, lovely little face palette. First of all, this is an Anne Basic Bitch palette and I fucking love that. <laughs> With that said, a couple of things here and there has happened. But for the most part, it's been you know, pretty chill. However, I think after being home for about over a year now due to COVID, I see a lot more things. <laughs> And you know what's really funny? I feel like this is kind of like the constant theme of every Ghost reenactment show I watch, which by the way, can I tell you, I am a huge horror movie person, but for whatever reason, like horror movies rarely scare me. Very rarely do I, I get scared. I actually really enjoy them. But Ghost reenactment shows fucking kill me. I don't know why. They actually scare the shit out of me so much so that I cannot watch them alone. The acting is terrible, terrible, okay? The CGI, everything, its effects are garbage. But for whatever reason, I am terrified of it and I hate it. I hate it so much, it scares the shit out of me. But what I always find is the constant theme is that usually if it's a couple, it's usually the husband that like goes off and he's usually like a long haul trucker. I don't know why, but they're always like long haul truckers. So the husband's usually gone for a very long time. And then it's the wife that's always alone. And the wife is the one that's haunted by the spirits and has to constantly tell her husband that she's scared to death to live there. But the husband has to remind her that they put all their fucking savings into this old Victorian every fucking time. Anyway, you know, I noticed a couple of things here and there, nothing too out of the ordinary, but because I've been home, I feel like I just see it more and more and more. And can I tell you, it's quite frightening. <laughs> But like in a way it is, but in the same breath, it's not. In the moment that it happens, I'm like, oh! but then I'm like, oh, like I don't feel it to be evil. When I lived in my old house, that shit was evil. Whatever the fuck lived there definitely did not like me, did not want me to be there, didn't find me funny, wanted me to get the fuck out. And listen, I don't blame them, okay? I'm a lot to deal with. But this thing though here, I just feel like it's his residual energy that's just like hanging about. That's what I thought until I saw some things. And now I don't know what it is, but in any case, I still like, I get alarmed, I jump, but then I calm down because I don't feel like it's malicious. My ghost likes to hang around in my bedroom. I don't know why, but it does. And it used to just be like at nighttime, the room would just feel a little bit darker. Like I feel like I would see shadows. And then it got to the point where it wasn't at night. It was actually three o'clock in the afternoon or sometimes nine o'clock in the morning. I would be on Zoom calls and I would see something out of the corner of my eye and I would try not to scream, okay? This dude's brazen. The eyeshadow quality in this is really good. This is reminding me a lot of the Chipotle palette. So if you have that, like then you understand what I'm talking about. But like this feels nice though. I'm liking this. I don't know why every e.l.f. palette can't be like this. Like, I don't know, what, what is the fucking deal with that? But in any case, like, I feel like a basic ass bitch, but I'm loving every second of it because after all, it's not so halfway to Halloween. Oh God. Anyway, so when I work from home, I have my workstation set up in my living room. Let me use this brush from Wayne Goss. I literally got this the other day. Ooh. Oh, this feels nice. This is actually kind of perfect to put in my little fat cutlet over here. This is cute. I've always wanted to try Wayne Goss's eyeshadow brushes because I know they're supposed to be good for hooded eyes. Him and Beautylish are very kind enough to send it my way, so I super appreciate it. I understand why people really like these because it just feels so soft. So when I'm working from home, I'm in my living room and I'm in the middle of my apartment. So when I look to my left, there's the front door. When I look to my right, there's a small hallway. I see my bathroom and then just right around the bend is my bedroom. What's interesting about my, my little um, friendly ghost. Sometimes like he darts really fast from my bathroom to my bedroom. Like I just see like this black blob, like, like really fast. You don't know what you're looking at. So I do have one window in my bathroom. And at first I thought like, oh, well maybe it's a bird or something like that. Until I actually like happen to turn my head and realize that this thing is a fucking blob. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of Slimer in a way from Ghostbusters. Not as big and not having hot dogs in its mouth, but definitely like a fat blobby thing. It's like, and then it just runs. So it happens periodically to the point where, you know, like now I don't really think anything of it. However, Casper learned a new trick. 
it feels like almost like this dude is grabbing the wall and just doing this and like trying to like look out at me. And this happens throughout the course of the day. Always when I'm on a conference call, which a part of me is like, he's probably napping and he just wants me to shut the fuck up. And I, again, I don't blame him. I talk really loud, right? It's either that or I'm watching Real Housewives of New Jersey and he's probably really tired of Teresa and Melissa fighting, which I fucking get. We all are tired of it too. And when I make eye contact with it, it just slips back. <sighs> So I see that periodically. Technically I should stop and do the other eye, but like I like this, it, you know, it's a basic ass bitch kind of a look, but I kind of want to sparkle it up a little bit. So I'm going to use a little Lethal Cosmetics. This is their Blitz Shadows. I really like this one. Not all of them have been really working well for me. Some of them I'm not a fan of, but this one I really, really, really enjoy. So I'm going to pop this one in a corner. Now technically you could use just the wand, but I don't like doing that. I actually like using a brush and then slowly patting it on. It really makes a very, very beautiful topper shape. All right, I'm going to do my other eye off camera and I will be right back. I actually have two different primers for mouth. We have the hydrating face one and then I have the jelly pop. I've been wanting to try the jelly pop one for a hot minute now, but I want to do a little bit of the hydrating one though because my skin's dry and I just want a little extra. Oh, this is kind of interesting. This one kind of reminds me of like the Smashbox primer, that slippy, slippy feel. I don't know if this is going to work, but <sighs> We're gonna be optimistic. All right, I'm gonna go in with the jelly one. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what this for? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. Okay, I actually kind of like the feel of it. So when it comes to like elf complexion products, the camo line has never worked for me. I don't fuck with it, but I do love the flawless line though. The flawless line, fantastic. Ooh, mama's pale today. It's actually kind of funny. Something interesting has been going on in my apartment. My good friend Desi, bought me a mat for Halloween. Actually, no, it was for Christmas. It was a Halloween mat, but it was for Christmas. Anyway, this is what she got me. It's so fucking adorable. What's interesting about this mat is that it lights up when you step on it. <laughs> I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. Now, technically it should be on the outside of my apartment door, but here's the deal. This mat is too cute for other people to enjoy, okay? I wanna see this mat for my own amusement. <laughs> Plus, I also live in an apartment building. I'm already the kooky lady in the top floor. I don't need to solidify that with a year-round Halloween mat, okay? Not here. If I owned a house, absolutely. I would have Halloween decorations up year-round. Okay, before I go... <laughs> before I... Oh, are you kidding me? Let me tell you a little bit about my mirror first. And then I'll go back to my fucking doormat. Actually, let me finish my doormat first and then I'll go to the fucking mirror. Before I even do that, I'm going in with the new Elf Flawless Brightening Concealer Pen. I'm hoping that because it's from the Flawless line, I am going to love it. Because again, camo just sucks. As of late, my floor mat likes to light up on its own. And I know you're probably saying, oh, it's probably because it needs fresh batteries. Bitch, I put in fresh batteries, okay? twice now still the same effect so the ghost likes to stand on the doormat and it's just been really fun too because again on a zoom meeting i'll look over and if i don't look to my right but if i look to my left my doormat is lighting up i love that for me all right so here's here's the one that actually has been happening though i want to say for the past like six months or so by the way i went in with the halo glow setting powder and i'm going to use the rest of it to set my face with it i have a simple human mirror it's the mirror that's right in front of me hence why the lighting kind of keeps changing this is my second mirror okay what i love about this simple human mirror is when it works it works it's great right i feel like this is kind of a game changer in regards to me doing my makeup highly recommend it i don't recommend it if you live in a haunted house though <laughs> because for whatever reason, I feel like this ghost really loves this mirror and it's so fucking annoying. I first thought it was defective. And I say that because where I store this mirror, behind me, right, like I have my dresser and I have all my storage containers and then next to me, I have these two large kind of like bookshelves that has a bunch of different makeup containers in there. And on top of that, that's where I put my mirror. And if you go close to it, the mirror lights up as so. And when you step away, the mirror will dim. This thing likes to go on at three o'clock in the morning. Where I have it is technically probably over six feet. I would say probably closer to seven feet because that's how high this little cabinet is behind me. This thing will wake me up in the middle of the night because it's so bright. It's like a beacon of fucking light in this room. And when I start to wake up and I notice it, it shuts off immediately. <laughs> and it scares the shit out of me. 
And at first I thought, oh man, this must be defective. So I returned this mirror, right? And I got a new Simple Human mirror. Not even the same mirror that I had last time. I actually got a slightly different one. It still does the same shit. So I don't understand what's going on, but it loves doing this at three o'clock in the fucking morning. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer <laughs> from the face palette. This I feel like is gonna be very warm. So I'm hoping for the bath. Oh yeah, this is warm. Felt like I was looking kind of ghostly anyway. So I'm gonna go in with the blush. I like that. All right, like I mentioned before, the highlighter is a little bit too dark for me. I am going to use the highlighter that is from one of my favorite highlighters from them. And that is in the Cantaloupe little bite sized palettes. This is fantastic. I'm gonna use another brush. I'm gonna use this little brush, the number four from Wayne Goss. And if this fucking lights up, that would be great, right? I really like these Wayne Goss brushes. They're very nice. Very slutty. I love it. Actually, so let me tell you a little bit about the current thing that has happened. And this is actually funny. I wish Alex was home because he can confirm this. I live in an apartment building. We have street parking around here. So it was a very, very big deal for us to get garage parking. How parking works around here is that even though I'm in this apartment building, so let's say I'm in apartment building A, my garage is technically down the block and around the corner. My mirror is obviously not cooperating with me right now. So we're just gonna push it over on the side. And we're just gonna keep the story going. Okay, right next to the garage, garage is the area where all the apartment complex puts their trash. It's kind of surrounded in a chain link fence. The first gate is actually covered in like this green mesh. So you can't really see what's behind it. However, when you kind of go over to the side, it's a chain link fence. You could see that there are giant dumpsters in this area. Now there are two dumpsters, one on this side and like one on this side. However, in the front gate, even though there's some mesh, there's this much space off the ground. So you could technically see somebody's feet if they were standing there. So, <laughs> so when we were going down the block to the parking garage, we see the gate start to open and we both see like somebody's feet, like T -t 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 -t. and they like push the gate open. So as we're kind of getting closer to it, I'm expecting to see one of the guys that works around here. Maybe it's one of the supers, maintenance guys. This is a pretty residential area. So it's not like we get a lot of foot traffic around here or anything. So it's usually who I see in that area. We start to go past the area and we look in and all that's in there are just the two dumpsters. So it's one on this side and one on this side. There's nothing else in there. Normally there's like boxes for recycling and this and that. This was actually empty because it was Saturday and that morning is when they do the garbage pickup. So I'm looking, I'm like, where's the person? Like we, we both saw somebody open the gate and the gate is not like something that can get like blow open. It's very, very heavy. We saw somebody push open the gate. Where do they go? So since my parking garage technically goes down a little ramp, when you start to go down the ramp, you could see that there is no other exit, right? There's no other exit for you to get out of like this little caged in area where the dumpsters are. There's only one entrance and that's the front gate. There's nothing in the back. The dumpsters are actually pushed up to the back of the gate. So like there's no way to fucking get out of them. These dumpsters are fucking massive. So it would be impossible for somebody to scale it really quickly without making too much noise jumping into them. It's like we both realized at the same time, something wasn't right. The hairs on our arms and the back of our neck started to stand up and it was so uncomfortable. I knew in my heart, I did not wanna be here. I did not wanna find out what the fuck was going on. We went down to the parking garage. We got our car and we got the fuck out of there. We didn't talk for like 20 minutes. And then I said to him, so you saw that, right? And Alex, as he was driving without even looking at me, he says, yep and we just didn't talk about it. Every now and again, I'll just look over to him or he'll look over at me and goes, right that time by the dumpsters? I'm like, yep. This got me thinking actually. New York City is a pretty big place, right? And I feel like this whole fucking area is haunted. I am sure of it. There's probably so many ghosts that literally roam these streets that have unfinished business. I recognize that. But I was thinking to myself, you know, kind of like my ghost here, I imagine it's some residual energy from the guy that used to live here and he's just kind of like making sure that we're probably keeping up the place and occasionally scaring the shit out of me during Zoom meetings and probably wanting me to shut the fuck up every now and again. But the thing at the dumpster though, a part of me wonders if it is somebody that used to work here and that has passed on and doesn't realize that they passed on and they continue to go to work or it could be some sort of horrible garbage demon i don't know maybe the garbage demon actually because we kind of both felt really uncomfortable <laughs> passing it by and i probably shouldn't talk about it anymore because i'm pretty sure the garbage demon will now come live with me <sighs> 
Anyway, let's pick out a lip color. So in this Jen Atkin collection, there are three basic ass bitch colors. I'm going to choose the more pinky one because that's just how I roll. And it looks like on one side you have a lip liner. On the other side, it looks like a lipstick. That's actually a pretty cool idea. I really like that. So, oh yeah, this is a basic ass bitch color. Mm -hmm. You know what I realized? I didn't even finish my eye look. Where did I think I was going? Oh God. I like the lip liner. It's pretty. You know, I don't think I'm a fan of the lipstick part of it. I like the liner. The lipstick is very, very matte. Not very comfortable at all, actually. But I am gonna go in with this Hydrating Core Lip Shine. Fuck it. Oh, that makes me feel so much better, okay. This is cute, all right, this is so much better. God, I totally forgot to do my fucking under eyes. I technically do have black eyeliner from e.l.f. Okay, normally I don't tight line, but I just kinda felt like I needed to. <laughs> Okay, so tight lined my eyes. I'm just gonna go in with the second brown shade just to put a little bit of something in the lower lash line. So this is the final look. I love it. I feel like a princess, a spooky basic bitch princess. Ooh. I have to say I'm pretty pleased with some of this elf stuff. It definitely scratched that itch that I had inside me and I feel fulfilled. And now I want to hear from y'all. Let me know down below. One, what do you think about these elf products? And two, tell me something spooky that's going on in your life. I can't be the only one suffering from paranormal experiences. I can't be. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon. To all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, Really disgusting, really trashy, really spooky. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you and I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I hope that one day we can meet and we can recreate the pottery wheel scene from Ghost because that would be really awkward, but a lot of fun. If you wanna know what is currently on my face, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little ghosties later. Bye.